calling 2023 CR7684, State of Texas versus Shelby Bandy. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garrett, Your Honor. Defense? Kelly Piddle. And are you Miss Bandy? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand you're charged with the offense of burglary of a habitation force? That's a second degree felony. Range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. You're proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? We just asked you to follow the fine. All right. So why are you breaking into someone's home? Um, it was a misunderstanding, really. Uh, I was watching, I, was, I lived there and I was watching the house at the time and um, the owner was um, in rehab and uh, I had locked myself out of the house. And uh, so I went through a window. I didn't break anything. And I told the owner about it. And it's just. Why was the owner's clothes spread out all over the place? The, his clothes? Yes. I don't, I don't know. Why were cabinets open throughout I, the house? I don't know. I didn't do any of that. So either you're a bad watcher of homes or either you did that. He's saying that he never gave you permission to be in his home. He did. And that you're homeless. I lived there. I had I had mail going there and I lived with him in the at, at the residence and uh when I had I decided to move out and he had got mad I guess I don't I don't know but um it's it's a mess like so I lived at the that address defense um we have discussed the defense judge she understands that by taking this case she's giving up her right to a trial and her very uh what we believe is a a, a valid defense um but she understands that she's giving up her rights and, and has pled no contest and wishes the court to proceed with the case all right so you do not wish to go to trial no ma'am all right how old are you i'm 31. do you have any children i have a son age two and where is your son he's with family and where was he doing all of this where was he at yeah with my family all right. Is there a child protective services case? Uh, no, ma'am. Why do you not have your two year old? It's just I, I didn't have a stable place to live. So. How far did you go in school? Uh, some college. When's the last time you had employment? Uh, about right before I got locked up, which I've been incarcerated for four months. And what were you doing? For uh, I was doing uh, traffic control. I'm sorry, what? Traffic control. What do you mean traffic control? Like, uh, you know how they shut down the highways um, with the cones and... Ah, yeah. So you're the person who places the cones down? <clears throat> Drug use? No, ma'am. Here's the thing. I'm putting you on probation. I'm going to write it down that you told me you have no drug use. If you end up testing positive, we're going to have issues. Okay. So, any drug use? No, All right. This is what the court is going to do. Four years deferred adjudication. If you complete everything early, counsel, she can always come back. 50 go the, off the record. From here on out, everything that you do in your life, any decision you make, you need to ask yourself, is this something that could potentially result in me going to prison for 20 years? If the answer is yes, don't do it. If it's maybe or a gray area, don't do it. You understand? Yes, sir. In this courtroom, to be successful on probation, communication is key. If you feel that probation is not addressing something, then you can always come back to the court. You understand? Yes, ma'am. All right, good luck to you. All right. Thank, Thank you, Judge. The same Shelby Bandy who was placed on deferred adjudication in 2023, CR 7684, for the offense of burglary of a habitation force on October 17, 2023, for a period of four years. Is that you? Yes, ma'am. State? On or about the 27th day of May 2024, in Bear County, Texas, the defendant shall be abandoned committed the offense of theft violation of the district. How do you plead to that? True or not true? True. Is there a proposed Eight. agreement? Deny the motion amends conditions for cognitive behavioral class IOT with lifetime recovery and rolling F class within seven days. Uh, probation. Yes, Judge. Is that probation's recommendation? That's the recommendation that's on the court summary, Judge. I do want to point out that um, Miss Fandy was placed on probation October 2023. Um, you wanted 
no visits to be conducted at our home. They have been conducted, however, no contact has ever been made with this family at her home. She's not home when those are completed. Private outpatient program has not been completed. Parenting classes have not been completed. Community service hours, there was 200 hours ordered. There's a balance of 200 at this point. All right. So, Ms. Bandy, you want to raise your right hand for me, please? Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony you give will be the truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. Yes, ma'am. You can lower your hand. State your name for the record. Shelby Bandy. All right. Other than in committing a theft, what have you done on probation? Uh, well, I wasn't. I hadn't paid yet because I was. I worked six days a week at my job, and I was. Uh... No, we're not talking about money. Oh, okay. Because yeah. what I'm talking about is. You were supposed to do parenting classes. Have you done parenting classes? I was online. I was doing them online because I was working, like I said, but I was, uh, I hadn't completed them yet. All right. Have you been available for field visits? Uh, no, ma'am. I was at, I was working six days a week. So I, when they went to my house, I was at work. How did you have time to commit a theft if you're working six days a week? Uh, I just, I had taken the wrong person to the store and, you know, gave, I gave a ride to the wrong, the wrong person and got caught up doing that. So I just. All right. So you have a time to take a person to the store, mm -hmm. commit a theft, but you don't have time to complete your parenting classes because you are working six days a week. You don't have time to be home for your field visits because you're working six days a week. And did you complete cats one and two? Not yet. Yeah, I have my probation officer told me that I would do that after I got done with the parenting classes. All right. Any questions, defense? I do have some statements to make that yes. I met with her. And, and just one second. I'm sorry. Uh, state, any questions of the witness? No, Your Honor. All right. Counsel. Your Honor, I met with her prior to this. And she told me that after she was placed on probation, she had to go to jail. I, I believe it was for an offense out of another county. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And so she wasn't out of jail until December 4th of what year? 2023. 2023. And she tells me her dad, her mom passed away the prior day. Um, she tells me that she, her intent has been to complete these classes and to complete everything, but she seems to have had some problems doing so. Can you tell the judge why you didn't, just a better explanation of why you didn't complete all these things? Other than just just working, yeah, I was working, and then I just my my month my mother passed away the day before I got out of jail, and so we had to you know plan her funeral. Um, we ended up cremating her. We spread her ashes at the beach, uh, and then at her house we were going to sell it now, and so we had to clean it up. So I was busy doing that too. You know, I was busy going to work. When I wasn't at work, I was at home packing up all her stuff, getting. Did you pick up the phone and tell probation? I was, yeah, my probation officer, I, we were, I was reporting and she knew everything that was going on and she was understanding about it. She just said, you know, she did tell me that I needed to go take a drug test and then pay something uh, by the next time that I, that I reported. And then I ended up getting locked up. You know, I believe she's been in jail since June 20th and she told me she's been through many probation officers and so. I don't know if that's an excuse or anything, but no. It, when I first started to report, um, I, they get, I saw like three or four different probation officers in the beginning, and then the the probation officer that I have now, I guess, my permanent one. I only saw her tw three times, I believe. Excuse me. No talking behind the court reporter. All you have to do is ask the deputy to move your person to the end. Thank you. You may continue. Yeah. So the uh, when I they gave me like three or four different probation officers in the beginning, and then so it was like I got orientated like uh, every time. You know, how does that translate to you committing a theft? It, it doesn't. It's just I forgot what he asked me. Um, it's just what what I was doing, like why I hadn't completed the classes and stuff. You know, like why I hadn't done anything, like um, taking a drug test or, or making payments and stuff like that, because I was just busy working. And then the probation officer that I got. Uh, my permanent one, I only saw her like two or three times before. Can I ask her another question? Yes. Okay, do you understand this judge can send you to prison if you're too busy and then you won't be too busy? Right, I understand that. You understand that? Because probation is a chance for you to show the court that you can comply with regulations and rules. If you 
go out and you commit other offenses, you're not reporting. You're, I know you, you report it, but if you're not doing everything you're supposed to do, your probation can be revoked. I understand. And nobody can stop the judge from doing that. You understand that? I understand. If this judge does go with the recommendation from the probation officer who wrote this up, are you going to comply with what you have to do? Yes. Are you going to be too busy working? No. You understand being too busy working tells the judge that you're too busy to do probation? I understand. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? All right. I'm not going to follow your agreement. I don't think you're an appropriate candidate for probation. The number one thing, you're on probation for breaking into someone's home and stealing. You you haven't done anything on probation. The only thing you've done is committed another theft. So uh, the court is finding violation of condition number one true. The court will find you guilty. I'll order the therapeutic community uh, that can help you with any drug or alcohol issues you may have. Uh, there's going to be a $1,500 fine, time and money to run concurrent. Does anyone wish to speak on time? The range of punishment is two to 20 years. Yeah, I would ask for the two years because she probably thought she was going to get the recommendation from probation today. And I know that it's serious not you know, picking up another offense and and so on, but she tells me she was working. I understand it's not an excuse, but she wasn't out there using drugs, according to her. Okay. All right. State? Four years, John. All right. The court is finding you guilty. The court will order the therapeutic community, give you credit for any time served. There's a $1,500 fine. Time and money to run concurrent. The court will sentence you to six years in the prison. Did you review the document entitled Trial Court Certification of Defendant's Rights to Appeal with your attorneys? Did you understand it and sign it? She did sign it, Your Honor. Oh, yes, ma'am. All right. You have a limited right to appeal. That right to appeal is as it relates to the allegations in the motion, not the fact that you were on deferred adjudication. Because this is a felony conviction, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition. If you have a question on what a weapon or ammunition is, you'll need to speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you, counsel. Thank you.